Have you ever wondered if you might be scared of intimacy? It's a question that might seem odd, but it's more common than you think. We're not just talking about physical closeness, but emotional intimacy as well. The type of closeness that makes you vulnerable, that peels back the layers of your heart, revealing your true self to another person. It's a beautiful aspect of relationships, but it can also be incredibly daunting. Understanding this fear is crucial. It's like a silent gatekeeper, standing between you and the fulfillment of deep, meaningful relationships. It can affect how you communicate, how you connect, and even how you view yourself. It can create patterns in relationships that might seem confusing, even frustrating, to both you and your partner. But here's the good news. Recognizing this fear is the first step towards overcoming it. It's about taking measured risks, building trust, and opening up channels of communication. It's about working through childhood issues that might have contributed to this fear. It's about prioritizing intimacy, both emotional and physical. So, are you ready to take this journey of self-discovery? Stay tuned as we uncover the 10 signs that indicate a fear of intimacy. The first sign of fear of intimacy is an avoidance of physical touch. Physical touch, whether it's a simple hug or holding hands, is a fundamental part of human connection. It fosters a sense of security, comfort, and closeness. If you find yourself shying away from these gestures or feeling uncomfortable when they occur, it might be indicative of an underlying fear of intimacy. It's not about despising touch, but rather feeling anxious or uneasy when touch becomes a medium of expressing intimacy. Moving on to the second sign, a consistent pattern of short-term relationships. Now we're not talking about a couple of flings or casual dates here and there, it's about a noticeable trend of relationships that seem promising at first but end quickly. You might find yourself pulling away or finding reasons to end things once the relationship starts to deepen. This could be because the prospect of true intimacy feels threatening, leading to a pattern of brief, surface-level relationships. The third sign to look out for is workaholism. It might sound odd, associating fear of intimacy with an excessive commitment to work, but it's a common coping mechanism. People often immerse themselves in work to avoid confronting emotional issues or dealing with personal relationships. Work becomes a safe haven, a place where they can feel accomplished and in control, unlike the vulnerability that comes with intimate relationships. These signs are not definitive proof that you're scared of intimacy, but they can provide some insight into your emotional patterns. It's not about labeling or diagnosing yourself, but rather about understanding your behaviors and tendencies better. If you see yourself in these signs, don't worry, there are more to come. Remember, recognizing these signs is the first step towards addressing and overcoming any fears of intimacy you might have, so stay tuned as we delve deeper into the remaining signs in the next segment. Moving on, the fourth sign of fear of intimacy is a lack of trust. Trust is the bedrock of any relationship, and a fear of intimacy often manifests as an inability or unwillingness to trust your partner. This may come across as constant suspicion or an overbearing need to control every aspect of the relationship. If you find yourself doubting your partner's actions or motives without any concrete reason, it could be a sign that you're afraid of letting them in too close. The fifth sign is difficulty sharing feelings. This is more than just having a hard time saying I love you. It involves an inherent discomfort with expressing emotions, whether it's love, fear, or even annoyance. If you're always trying to keep your feelings under wraps or you feel a sense of panic at the thought of opening up emotionally, you might be grappling with a fear of intimacy. Next, we have emotional affairs. Now this does not always mean infidelity in the traditional sense. An emotional affair can be an intense friendship or connection that crosses the boundaries of a platonic relationship, taking up the emotional space meant for your partner. This diversion of emotional energy can be a way of avoiding the intimacy in your primary relationship. The seventh sign is a history of unstable relationships. If your past is littered with short-lived relationships, and you find it difficult to maintain a stable long-term relationship, this could be a symptom of fear of intimacy. It might be that as soon as the relationship starts to deepen, you feel the urge to pull away and end things. These signs might seem familiar to some of you, but we're not done yet. The eighth sign of fear of intimacy is an inability to express love or affection. This doesn't necessarily mean uttering the words I love you, but also includes small gestures like holding hands, hugging, or even a simple pat on the back. You might find it hard to show these forms of affection or feel uncomfortable when you do. The ninth sign is the difficulty in accepting love or affection from others. 
You might find yourself pulling away when someone tries to get close or even rejecting acts of kindness. It's not that you don't want the love, but the fear of being vulnerable or getting hurt might be holding you back. The tenth and final sign is having issues with nonverbal communication. This could be avoiding eye contact, maintaining a physical distance or having a closed body language. You might not even realize you're doing it, but these subtle cues can indicate a fear of intimacy. Now that we've covered all 10 signs, let's do a quick recap. Fear of intimacy can manifest in many ways. We've explored 10 signs today, each revealing a different aspect of this fear. We've seen how it can manifest in avoiding close relationships, prioritizing work over personal connections, or engaging in emotional affairs. We've also discussed how nonverbal communication can be affected, and how patterns of distancing oneself can emerge in relationships. We must remember that these signs are not definitive proof of a fear of intimacy, but they can serve as indicators. It's incredibly important to recognize these signs in ourselves and others. Open communication, trust, and taking measured risks are key to overcoming this fear. If you find that these signs resonate with you, it might be wise to seek professional help. Therapy can be an effective way to work through childhood issues or other underlying causes that may contribute to a fear of intimacy. Remember, it's okay to be scared, but don't let fear stop you from experiencing the joys of intimacy.